Now today I want to talk to you about 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 because this is the chapter where the Bible warns us about this deception, this lie that Jesus Christ can come back at any moment and he warns us not to be deceived. Let me read it for you from 2 Thessalonians 2. The Bible reads, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And so right here the Bible warns us that people are going to come to us and lie to us and try to deceive us into thinking that the day of Christ is at hand and that he can come at any moment. But he says, don't be deceived because that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And he talks about how he's going to basically go in the temple of God and claim to be God. You know, the time when that happens, the Bible's clear, it's right at the time of the abomination of desolation. When the Antichrist receives a deadly wound, his deadly wounds healed, and he sets up this image of himself. And everyone has to bow down and worship this image, and they have to worship the Antichrist, and they have to uh, give him the glory that's only due unto God. The Bible says, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. But people are going to have to worship him as God, and he's going to claim to be God. And uh, the Bible's teaching us here that that has to happen first before the day of Christ. So he says anybody who tells you that the day of Christ is at hand is a liar. They're a deceiver. Because first there has to come away and the man of sin has to be revealed. And those things haven't happened yet, my friend. We have not yet seen the man of sin revealed. We have not yet seen him enter into the temple of God and call himself God. We haven't seen any of that. And so therefore Jesus Christ coming cannot be at hand and it cannot happen at any moment. And guess what? It's not going to happen until after the tribulation.